welcome back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can run the rival cli on a vps so that you can earn more client points and rank up on their leaderboard but before i proceed instead of you just waiting for me to make content and upload on youtube you can just follow me on twitter with the link below and you'll be able to get the latest crypto updates on airdrop and any latest alpha that you need to know you can also join my telegram community and my whatsapp channel with the link below this video and by doing that you will get the latest alpha the latest node the latest airdrop update at your fingertips and also don't forget to like this video and drop a sub to the channel for more free informative content like this so now before you start running this cli on a vps just as you can see the first thing you need to do is to create an account on rivers so you can just use the first link below this video and come to this dashboard then connect your wallet and with that you are done creating your account so the next thing to do is to come to your minex dashboard you understand so you click on the menu then click on minex so you can see that the current face of this client node is actually between now and q1 of 2025 so we still have some time you understand and you can see that it started back in october it just happened that i forgot to activate mine because i thought mine is actually running and i never knew that they started phase 3 already and i need to update my cli although i participated in their phase 1 and phase 2 last year so this for phase 3 now the next thing you need to do is to get a vps but if you already have big vps that can accommodate more node with up to 300 gig then you are good with that but if you click the first link below this video you can just get vps1 for 5.5 dollars with no setup fee you understand but i would suggest you go for more iron vps if you have the money to pay for that vps service you get my point because the more space you have then the more points you earn on rivals so with that being said I'm going to click on vps2 you understand because i want to get vps2 then you just have to confirm the payments it's going to prompt you to enter details but i'm just going to skip that part because i've talked about contable for a long period of time then you pay your 12 dollar your amount now as a new user you'll be prompt to reply an email with your details then with your passport and everything so you just have to check your email there's a specific email whereby they will request for your details so you just have to send them with everything you need and wait for feedback and once you have successfully verified your account you'll be able to log into the vps so when you log into the vps this is how it's gonna look like you can also watch my previous video on how to set up your putty and login you understand so the first command you need to enter is sudo apt update and sudo app upgrade dash y which is exactly what i normally do first and in any node you are running from the guide you'll be able to see that that is the first command so you just have to let for, you just have to wait for it to run down you understand then i'm also going to link down this guide this guide i know everything about this guy is just for me to get the command you understand because i can't cram the command but i know what's going on here now the next step is to install node.js because you need to install node.js after you install screen you understand now i'm going to show you the reason why screen and node.js is very important because you need it to run the rivers node now you can check the version which is what i'm doing node version you can see that 20.18 i want you to watch my screen closely because some parts are very technical so Paying attention to how I solved it, we actually save a lot of stress. Now, the next thing is to create a screen. I'll, I'll remove that Zen node because I don't want to run a Zen node screen. Then I will put Rival CLI. Now, you can name that screen with anything you want. Now, this is where it's actually tricky because you are running this CLI inside a screen, inside a VPS, you understand? So, I just created a screen or a one part of one part for of the vps for rivers alone so the next thing is to install the the npm or the the how is it called the rivers cli is to install it now when i click install it's going to take some some time up to like two three minutes you understand so you just have to wait for it to load up so by waiting you'll be able to see that it will say that you need to install or update your npm so that is exactly what we are going to do you just have to copy that 
in npm install that jib stuff like that you just have to copy it then you paste it and wait for it to load up it's going to take up to two minutes again but you just have to wait for it understand so you can see that it says that npm font for details and stuff like that that one that one does not really matter to us you understand my point because i think with that the note still runs so i just have to clear everything which is by typing clear then i will install the the this thing again the cli again i will install it you understand so i just have to paste it and you can see that it's still showing that error now the next thing i will need to do is to run the cli i'll put rivers run you understand and wait for it to load up now you can see that the cli is running now and it's actually working so mm. You just have to follow the process now it's requesting for you to enter your metamask address now this is part that you want to enter the metamask address that you used to in connecting your rivers you understand so i just have to skip the process then enter my metamask address now this section is for you to select the disks now remember that i'm using this vps to run covalent node you understand so that's why it's showing like this but if you're not using it to run any node you can just it will just show up totally like that so in the first case of click on number one then click enter then it's going to prompt me to enter the space i want to dedicate for rivers now you can see that i have 360 gig plus so i'll just put something like 300 or 350 gig you understand for rivers alone so that means this vps i'm using to run covalent load and rivers so you can see that it says connected and successful so you just have to give it some time so that the, the blockchain can can work and synchronize automatically and with that when you come back to the rivers website you can see that the validation is automatic so when i come back to the minex i click on it then from the dashboard you can see everything about my client one and client two understand so you can see that the next client is coming q1 of 2025 which means you still have time to run this node you understand so like in the next two three months you still have time so this that is for my client which is from phase one i did phase one you understand and that's for my phase two you can see that i end over fifty thousand points and for my phase two you can see that the last validation point is actually active that means my node is active and it's actually synchronizing so you can see the second part it says active and that is it now before i end this video i want to show you how you can run multiple nodes on a vps so i'm going to close this vps this node i'm running right now then i will open it again and try to log in and after i entered my password you'll be able to see that i've logged into the same vps you understand so what i will need to do is to type in a command screen dash ls and after i do this it's going to list out all the screens that is on my vps for me you understand now in my next video i'm going to explain more about screens and everything you need to know so that you will understand what you are doing you understand so even though you're a newbie you'll be able to understand this screen and everything so now you can see that i have a screen driver cli so what i will do is enter another command screen dash arrow then space then i'll now put driver cli this is to tell you that i will restore that screen which means i will open that screen and each screen is a node remember so when i click enter you'll be able to see that my rivers node is still there and it's still running so that is exactly how it is so that means i can create multiple screen and each screen is a node you understand so i can create another screen which i'm going to show you in my next video so when I press Ctrl AD, I'm going to leave that screen. So when you press Ctrl AD, it says that detaching from that screen. So I just detach from that screen. So what I'll do is I'm going to check the status of my covalent node to show that it's actually running even with my rivers. So you can see that I just imputed the covalent node. Now remember that you cannot run this covalent node. It's only whitelisted. And luckily, I'm part of those 15,000 people that we are selected. So yeah no one can run this node at the moment so you can see that my covalent node is running alongside my rivers so to confirm again i'll type in the screen again screen ls then you will see rivers cli so that is exactly how you can run the rivers cli node 
and earn more points and also run other nodes alongside with it you understand now remember that not all node that will require you to share their gpu so make sure that you are careful enough on the kind of node you want to run alongside with other nodes so that is it and if you know this video was helpful make sure you show it by liking this video and drop a sub to the channel and make sure you join my telegram community and my whatsapp channel so that you can get updated at the instant and as you might already know i'm dmo so thank you for watching and see you on my next video